Thanks for tuning in to Backyard Broadheads. I'm going to go over my top products today that I use for hunting. Subscribe for more hunting and crossbow content and feel free to leave me a comment about a topic that you'd like me to cover in the future. It's most of these products are in the description below if you want to check them out or purchase them. So I'm going to start with this Reinhardt Target. I've used block targets before, I've used other brands of targets before, and they're very good. But I think the best is the Reinhardt, especially when it comes to self-healing and not having um, part of the target that wears out. So I'll show you, for example, this is a shot I took with a broadhead right here. And... All that's really left is a little tiny X from the broadhead. You can't even see the circle that was in the middle originally when I shot it because the, the target does self-heal. It heals back up. Um, you might need a puller to get your arrows back out or you might want to put silicone on them, but it is a really good target. It's a really long-lasting target. I don't know if I'll ever have to buy another target. All right, so up next, my beautiful assistant is going to bring over my hunting rifle. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And there's several things on here I want to go over. First, I have a Nikon BDC scope. It is a Monarch. It is 18 power. It does have side focus. And of course with the BDC it has the multiple reticles inside of it. So this is what it looks like inside of my scope just these black circles right here and then i have my distances written on the gun just for quick reference it's also not a bad idea to put the put your distances on the inside if you have a scope cap open it up put them right there on the inside of your scope so you can quickly look at it uh, so it's variable it's actually 16 power variable from 4 to 16 power and my goal this year is to get out to 500 yards with this gun. And we'll be going over my rangefinder soon that I use for that. That's also a Nikon. And I also have a Harris bipod on the front. Do not waste your money on an inexpensive bipod. It is not worth it. Harris is a good brand. There's a lot of good brands out there. And this one also as your gun is sitting, it will pivot so that you can get your gun level, which is very important at long range. All right, so that's, those are the products on the gun. It's also a Remington Model 783 heavy barrel. It's a nice gun. It um, came with, with a threaded barrel and I just had to put a brake on there, which is really effective. That brake does um, reduce the kick a lot and it keeps the front of the barrel down and it does improve your accuracy. So that's what we have going on here. Uh, my next product is made by Plano. And it is a gun case. Now, I mean, I have friends that like to buy the best of everything that they purchase and spend top dollar on it, and that's fine. But I spent $20 on this gun case. And it's a hard case. I can throw it in the side of my side-by-side -side and I'm comfortable. So I don't think you need to break the bank on something like this, but it's a, this is a Plano gun guard and highly recommend it. All right, so next, our next item is a very lightweight jacket that I have. So great for turkey hunting anytime that it's warm out. This is made by Spartan, Spartan Outdoors. And it's just, it's just like a mesh material, but it's got a really nice camo pattern on it. So great for turkey hunting. Anytime you just need to be camo, but you don't want to be sweating your butt off, this is a great item. Uh, the next item I use pretty much every time I go hunting. So this is a face cover. One thing besides hunting that it's great for is when it's cold out and you're traveling on your quad or walking, I mean, even though air does go right through this, it makes a big difference when you have this covering your face. Now, I use this in three different ways. So you'll see it has 
like a hole at the top that's stretchy. It has this circle part here, and then it has this strap. And this is how I use it. I've never read the directions, but it works really good this way. Um, this is a Mossy Oak camo. I think it's also a Mossy Oak product. So what I do is I put it over my head. I put the strap behind my head. Now, if you just want to store it like that, until you go hunting, you can just leave it around your neck. It might even warm your neck up a little bit. But as you're hunting, if you want a little bit of cover and you still want to have really good vision, you can wear it like that. Now, if you want to step up your camouflage, and this one, I mean, it blocks your vision a tiny little bit on the sides, but you have more camouflage like that. And it's so easy just to, you're kind of getting tired of having it up like that. You can just pull back down like that for an absolute minimum amount of coverage. Yeah. So it can also cover your neck. So great product. I use it all the time. So next is a thermos. And this is a cork sickle thermos that my wife bought for me. And it pretty much goes hunting with me anytime I go hunting. It holds plenty of fluid. And for one day of hunting, maybe even, even a day and a half, pretty much the temperature that you put your drink in here at is pretty close to the temperature that it's gonna stay at. So don't put your drink in boiling hot because you're not gonna be able to drink it unless you let it sit with the lid off. So put it at the temperature that you like my wife would probably want it to be boiling hot, but um, I just put it at the temperature that I want. You could, I've never tried this, but I mean, you could even put soup in here, coffee, tea, hot cocoa, pop, I guess. I pretty much just use it for water, but it is a great product. It's completely spill proof. This thing's full right now. I actually stored this in my cooler with my camera because that's how much I trust that this thing is not going to leak. It's a cork sickle thermos. It's 20, five ounces, highly recommended product. So next, and this is a good product for the phrase, buy once, cry once. These are gloves that are part leather. I think they're part cotton, part polyester. They feel like leather, but they're not like the cheap gloves you wear for one or two seasons. I've had these for, I don't know, at least five years and they, they just last. It's definitely worth buying a quality pair of gloves. These ones are made by Promark, uh, men's large. They're a size that fits, so buy once, cry once. You might have them for the rest of your life. All right, next is a product by Browning. Uh, this is their Quick Sight Rest. It's foam. It looks as nice as the day I got it, probably 10, at least 10 years ago and it's a multi-purpose thing so when i shoot my crossbow i rest the back of my bow on this and i can move it forward or back right or left to get the back of my crossbow where i want it it also actually comes with a wedge for that same purpose you can put underneath here to move it up and down um, you can rest your gun or crossbow directly on it to shoot from and another great thing i use it for is to work on a gun or a crossbow. So you just set it on your bench, you set your gun or crossbow on there, say you're mounting a scope, it works great for that. So this is the Browning Quick Sight Rest. Highly recommended, inexpensive product. So next, I have a product that I purchased a few years ago, and this is an East Eastport backpack. And I mean it's really made for I'm guessing high school kids but it's it's put together really well like a big thing for me are the zippers and they just they just work great um, this one is expandable this zipper here actually makes it thicker this way it has side pockets I like to put my rangefinder in there um, it's got a lot of different pockets so things don't just get buried inside of there but it is high quality and I have some stuff inside of here that I want to show you so this is an Icon rangefinder. This one is good for long range rifle hunting. It also works great for archery. The reason it works great for archery is 
it has angle compensation in it because when you're shooting let's just say from a tree stand at a sharp angle down it doesn't matter how far that distance is down it just matters your horizontal distance from you out to wherever your target animal is at so this has angle compensation it's way more than you need for archery hunting any I would recommend any Nikon rangefinder with angle compensation for archery hunting. So just get the cheapest Nikon with angle that you can find. But I also hunt long range and I want to be able to shoot a deer out to 500 yards. And if it's at 600 yards, I want to know it's at 600 yards. So I have the Nikon Pro Staff 7i. So it has angle compensation it can pick up a deer out to i believe at least 600 yards so i really would recommend anything by nikon i also have some very inexpensive binoculars from them that i just use when i see something out in the field and i can't tell what it is all right thanks for tuning in to backyard broadheads most of these products are in the description below if you want to check them out or purchase them please subscribe for more hunting and crossbow content